Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm finally not dead inside or sick. I guess basically they're the same thing. I mean, I'm dead inside all the time anyways, but yeah. Today we're going to be going over Ender Slayer Guide, mostly for tier 4s. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show how to do a, a little tier 3, but like this is mainly going to be for a tier 4, so I feel like tier 3s are pretty easy and you don't really need a guide for those. But yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, maybe give it a like and subscribe and join the discords in the description if you want. And yeah, enjoy the video. Alright, so firstly I need to go over what armor I use. I use 3 Force Final Destination with 10k kills plus, ideally, for tier 4s. With an Ancient Warden Helmet, and my set has Legion 5 on it instead of Wisdom. Now, for Legion over Wisdom, is because Legion gives you an increase of basically all stats. So this would be Magic Find, Damage you know, defense, and, and intel, which rather than wisdom, you only get intel from, so it would be better than that. So I would just use legion on your set if you can, and that's it for the armor. So in my inventory, I have the summoning ring, and it has two zombie soldiers from Master Mode 3. You're definitely going to want at least one mob from Master Mode 3. It doesn't really matter as long as it's not like a skeleton type of mob. And then in my hotbar, I have my Hyperion, which is just what I use for my wither shield. And then a Plasma Flux, here's my Atom Split Katana. You want Fabled over Withered because Fabled is better. Even with Kata 49, Fabled is still better for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, they kind of killed Withered after the Strength Nurse. I have an Aspect of the Void, but you don't really need one. You just need like an Aspect of the End, really. You definitely want a Florid and a Wand of Atonement, and then an Ice Ray is kind of, you know, your choice if you want to get it. I just have a rod here, it doesn't really matter which rod, but I have it swapped to my black cat when I throw my rod out. That way I can get pretty good magic find at the end of the boss because, you know, that extra chance for judgment core matters a lot. Also, just to mention real quick, any of the mods that help me with my boss in this video are from SBE. So if you guys are interested in that, it's discord.gg slash SBE, I believe, but it's $5 for the mod. So it's your choice if you want to get it, but I just want to let you guys know that that's the mod I'm using for all the hits phase and the shield is ready thing. Alright, so now to actually show you guys how to do the boss. So let's get into that and I'll cut when I get to the end. Uh, I didn't mention it earlier, but you should swap sets to your mana set before you go to the end. That way you can summon your mobs like as soon as you warp to the end. I'll show you guys how much mana I spawn with once I go to the end. So as you can see, I just spawned in with like 2800. These only take about 1900 to spawn. So now I'll just spawn these in, set my hotbar back up, and then I'm just going to lock it so I don't drop it. And then you would just swap sets now, and you're pretty much ready to go. So for the pet, when you're getting your kills for the quest, you're going to want to use an Enderman. And this is because it's like the wolf pet, and it gives you more combat XP from Enderman. Except it's better than a wolf pet on Enderman. Now to get a mythic Enderman, you need the Cortex Rewriter, and then you bring it to Cat Upgrader. And it only takes about one Cat Flower, I think, to finish the upgrade, so... You could easily just buy that. I think there were maybe 180k to buy. So they're not very expensive at all. But yeah, for the first boss, I'm going to be going over a tier 4. So I'm going to go and get my kills for this boss. I just want to go over like a few general things before you spawn your boss. Because I don't want you guys to try to follow my boss as soon as you spawn yours in and just die and get frustrated. Because that's exactly what I did at first when I was having Talon and Destrix teach me how to do these bosses. But... Basically, you're going to want to use your ability on your Atom Split or your Horrible Katana for the Ferocity on this because the Ferocity does work during the hits phase, which makes it go by very fast. And you need to make sure that you place a Plasma Flux down because as you can see, it gives you 125% base mana regen. And during this fight, you're going to be using a lot of mana, so this is very, very helpful. So you need to make sure you have an orb down at all times. Make sure you always have your mob summoned. If you don't have at least one summoned, you're most likely going to die to the tier 4. And then for your battery and your talismans that take soul flow per second, I would just disable these. That's what I do. I have mine disabled. Oh, I do not have this one disabled, I guess. But I, I thought I did. But you don't even have to worry about the full set using this because it's not the full set. And then this is the only ability that's like actually worth using the soul flow. Because soul flow is a bit expensive, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so for killing the mobs to spawn your boss, you're basically just kind of just gonna TP around. I mean, this is kind of obvious how to do it, but you see someone's mini boss, like, see this one's just kind of chilling around here. You can hit it because you and them will also get the credit, and then it just helps you both in a way, basically. So just 
you know, just hit a mini boss once and you'll receive kill credit for it as well. But yeah, for now you basically just want to just go around and kill some endermen until your boss spawns. And then I'll show you guys what to do from there. Alright, so I'm getting closer to spawn. I think I'm about one mini boss away after this one. These things are always scary to kill, so just make sure you have enough mana when you're spawning, that way you don't die. Alright, so when the boss first spawns, you're going to want to place your plasma flux and then use your sword ability. Once you get about half health, you're going to want to, you know, use your Hyperion and then a Wand of Atonement if you need to. But just kind of use your Wither Shield as you need to, because it's going to be carrying you a lot. Alright, so I took a lot of damage there for some reason. I, I never take that much damage normally, but for now, I guess that's just how it wants to kill me. Once it gets into the hit phase, you're going to want to use your Hyperion and one though, because it does a lot of damage during the hit phase, and it gets more the longer it stays in the hit phase as well. Make sure you're getting the beacons, because these will one-tap you if you don't get them. So that is something that you need to be paying attention to at like all times. When I was recording the first part of this, I actually died to a beacon on recording, which is me just being a Papega, which I can understand when people do. Alright, so it's getting closer to the 50 mil phase, which is the last phase. And then there's heads here that just kind of float around, but you want to make sure that you look at them once it goes into the laser right here. It's like you'll just kind of look at them because they do a lot of damage to you. And you want to make sure that you don't die during this because if you do, then you're just screwed pretty much. So you're just going to warod swap at like the last second. So that's pretty much how a boss is. It's basically the same for a tier 3, but I'll show you guys how to do a tier 3 next as well, for those of you who are doing tier 3s. Alright, so I started my tier 3 quest, so I'm gonna go get the kills for this now. This is going to be pretty fast and easy, I'm assuming, because tier 3s are just like a cakewalk compared to tier 4s, so I'll just cut to the boss. Okay, I was wrong both times, it's this right here, but you're just gonna place the plasma flux again, and then basically just do the same thing with your sword. When you get low, you can just Wither Shield, but for the most part, you're not going to be taking too, too much damage from a tier 3, because it's a tier 3, and it's not super, super hard to do. So you're just going to want to spam your sword, spam your Wither Shield if you need to, and it should be dead within, like, very, very small amounts of time. But as you can see, that was a tier 3 right there. It was very fast and easy. Now, I guess my god pot ran out during that as well, so that was uh, that's kind of funny. That just shows how easy tier 3s are. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you guys have any questions, comment them, and I, I should be able to respond. I try to respond to most comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it, and join the Discord if you want to. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. As you know, I do it for the fans, not the cameras. Made a hundred bands and I took a flight to Paris. Seen her on the grand, but you know I got my standards. If you're talking to me now, better mind your manners. Better mind your manners.